checking out another clip on the web show. Always fun to catch up with people that are just rocking the dream, working hard and achieving, and Emma Snowsill fits into that category. She's the Olympic champion, the world champion. She's just unbelievable. The whole of Australia cheated her on at the Beijing Olympics where she took gold. It was just an absolute magic moment and uh, pretty cool to be at a local cafe on the Gold Coast at Mermaid Beach uh, with Nathan Corbett, actually Carnage. And uh, Emma rocked up and said hello and I thought, well, got a film for the web show. So I hassled her, she met me there for a coffee and we filmed this. Hope you enjoy it. On the Gold Coast with uh, Emma Snowsill, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You know, I do a show that's all about stories. So how did you get involved in being such a legend triathlete that you've become? How did it all start? Oh, I don't know if legend's the right word, but um, yeah, I'm born and bred on the Gold Coast. So I guess um, day like today is pretty good, pretty good breeding ground to uh, become an athlete and started out just as a swimmer and um, yeah, grew up swimming and, and basically in my last couple of years of school, I, I got sort of conned into doing cross country running and uh, a couple of years later, you know, the third one came together with the bike and evolved into triathlon. If you don't you just want to kill that dude on the saw over there somewhere? I just want to go over there and give him a smack in the head, but uh, there you go. When, what, what age did you know you were good at it? Oh, I don't know. Am I oh. good at it? <laughs> um, uh, Olympic gold medalist, world champion. Yeah, you're all right. Um, oh, you know, it's... I mean, I guess for me, you know, I grew up swimming and I had aspirations of becoming an Olympic swimmer and, you know, I guess um, it's very different, you know, you're in a pool, you have a set distance and you, you have times to achieve and then going to a completely different sport, you know, from two minute events to two hour events, um, it took a lot of getting used to, I guess, And um, but the, I guess the thing I found is that I'm a, a better suited to an endurance athlete, so um, yeah, I guess if anything, um, yeah, I've kind of found the right sport for me, really. Yeah, I think you may, that might be the case, actually, but uh, when you're in a race and stuff and it gets tough... Yeah. How often does it ever go through your mind that, uh, you know, you just want to quit? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, the, the when the pain sets in, um, that's definitely the time. That Can you explain the pain, by the way? Like, you're in the pain. When we watch it, it's painful watching it. So what's it like out there? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just that, you know, it's that feeling like anyone has when that, you know, when they're exercising and you get that burning sensation. And um, unfortunately, you've got to find your friend in that. And um, you have to turn that pain into, um, you know, into your friend and you have to make it work for you, not against you. And I guess that's the thing I tell myself is that, you know, the moment I stop or I pull off the course, I'd be far more disappointed. So, um, yeah, I guess it's my always my opportunity to, to dig deeper and um, and almost, yeah, use it to my advantage more than um, than giving into it. Well, I love asking people about the highlights of their careers and stuff. So, I mean, obviously it's got a, what, Olympic gold medal? Yeah, Beijing um, was just far and above my wildest dreams. Like I said, you know, I dreamt of going to the Olympics as a swimmer and um, to go there and, you know, in a different sport and, and have, you know, some family over there as well. And, um, yeah, I, I, even still, I find it quite hard to explain as to the... The, the sensation but I think relief is probably the biggest thing um, you know with all the effort you put into it it's lovely just to to come away and um, and know that you've done what you needed to do. No, good for you the whole of Australia was just rocking with that one the best in the world but uh, what advice do we have for young people out there I mean obviously it's a tough sport and anything is sport but what advice do we have for someone about sticking to their dreams? Oh I, I think you know if you have a dream the, the, there's no reason why you shouldn't go out and chase it you know you, you don't know until you try um, I think you know for me um, I, you know, I've had injuries, I've had illnesses, I've had setbacks along the way, but I think they're the things that make you grow stronger um, and don't be, you know, I, I guess don't let that put you off. Um, I think, you know, like I said, if you love it as well, I think that makes it all the more easy, you know. It's, it's like it's like everything in life, I guess, you know, there's going to be good days and bad days and it's the same with sport. You um, enjoy the journey. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm a big believer in anything being possible and I guess you're an example of that because do you stand on the on the line sometimes and look at the other girls that you're competing against the world over? You're not that big, are you? And are, are there big girls you're competing against? massive athletes and yet you're smashing them. <laughs> um, I've, um, yeah, I've, I've never sort of thought of myself as being particularly small, but um, um, I, I more or less look at this, you know, when I am on the start line, I guess I, I have that fear of everybody, um, of, 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 which is good, I guess, is, is not knowing, you know, what anyone could produce on that given day. So I guess that drives me to, um, to make sure that I'm out there to do my job and I can only control, you know, my race. And, um, yeah, I think that works for me. So, um, yeah, maybe I'm just at the right height to get them in the kneecaps then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be. And uh, just to finish off, I love asking people if they could live the ultimate dream. And I'm sure with World Championships and Olympics, you've already done that. But what other dreams do you have in your career? How would you like to see it end out if it, if it became the full fairy tale? Yeah, look, I'd love to go to another Olympics. Um, I definitely 
definitely think that you know my body can hold up that long. And um, but I think in the short term, I think this year we have the World Championships here on the Gold Coast in September, um, and I think that's going to be a huge thrill for me. You know, like I said, I'm born here. I have so many friends and family, um, so much support. You know, from when I grew up as a swimmer to people that have helped me with injuries. You know, the list goes on, and the people that help me, you know, maintain where I'm at today. And um, so often, you know, I'm racing on the other side of the world. So I, I think I'll probably have quite a few butterflies come September and, and that really is going to be um, a huge goal of mine to, to perform in front of a home crowd. Well if there's odds at spend a bet, uh, stand a bet I'd get the big money on you, you'd be a, you'd be a lucky, but great to have a quick chat with you and all the best. Yeah, no thanks for having me.